Hey everybody, this is Tamara Obscuro with the Chattanooga Roller Girls, and I wanted to make a Skater Girl Favorites uh, makeup video for the month of uh, for the month of June because. Um, I've never seen a roller girl, never seen a roller girl makeup reviews video. I've been seeing all these makeup reviews videos, and I've never seen one. Uh, I've never seen. I've never seen one for uh, skate makeup. So I thought I would start one. I also want to start doing some tutorials too, but I didn't feel like doing that yet. So I'm gonna start with the. Uh, I'm gonna start with my favorites, uh, favorite things that I've been wearing on the track lately, and things that uh, hold up pretty well under extreme conditions because we've been practicing in places with no air conditioning outside in crazy heat and things like that. So um, these products pretty much hold up under the most extreme, <laughs> under the most extreme conditions. So. Um, if you're a roller girl uh, looking for products, uh, if you're looking for things to try uh, for your next bout, or if you just want to, if you just want to wear makeup that you can wear to work and then go straight to practice, these are good things. And also, if you're just uh, if you're just somebody who's pretty active or uh, plays any sort of plays any sort of sport or does anything that involves a lot of, or you just want to go work out at the gym and you don't you don't want to. Um, take off your makeup. These things work pretty well. So, okay, I'm going to start with face and the first thing uh the first thing I'm going to uh show you guys uh is this Elf tinted moisturizer. Um this I have it in the color uh I have it in the color nude. Um it looks kind of light for my skin color, but it blends it blends in really well, and um, it's a tinted uh, moisturizer with SPF 20, so that's good because um, I don't have to wear an SPF on top of that, and um, that's that's good because sometimes uh, sometimes we'll be skating outside and uh, I don't have to worry I don't have to worry about that. Although I still have to put like SPF uh, <laughs> a little bit of a a little bit of SPF uh, 50 on my cheeks and my shoulders. Um, Okay, so this, this, I'm not going to lie, it does melt just a little bit, um, like sometimes if you, if you reach up and touch it, it melts just a tiny bit, but the main thing I like about this is that, um, is that you're not wearing hardly any makeup, so it's nice because you really don't want to wear much makeup when you're, um, when you're skating, you don't want a lot of stuff on your face if you're sweating and you're kind of gross, but, um, when you're bouting, you don't want you don't want to wear much makeup, but at the same time, you don't want uh, hundreds to thousands of people looking at your acne or your pimples. And I have really, I have really bad skin, so I at least feel a little more comfortable if I have a little something. But I also just tried this new one. This is what I have on right now. Um, this is all I have on my face right now. Is this uh, oil of Olay? Uh, Definity uh, Color Recover. Okay, um, I have not tested this one on the track yet because I just tried it today. But so far, I like it. It feels really good, and um, you know, it's supposed to help with wrinkles and uh, bad spots. So how could how could that be bad? I'll let you guys know uh, how well this holds up on the track. Um, also, as you can see, my face is a little bit shiny. I didn't put anything else on, but if I was playing in a bout, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely use this, um, Mineral Veil. Um, this one is, uh, Mineral Power Finishing Veil, but pretty, I mean, most Mineral Veils are good. So you use, you can use any, any finishing powder, uh, high definition powder. You just want to use something, especially for cameras, because, oh man, you uh, have to deal with uh, all the uh, scary pictures that you have to see later. So, okay, so you just you take the mineral powder and you want to, um, wait a second, I have to go back because um, I forgot concealer. Um, the concealer the concealer that I like the most is um, Benefits Boeing Concealer. Um, this concealer is industrial concealer and it really, 
really, really stays on. Like, this stays on all day. I have no trouble with this at all. Like, seriously, um, I have these big, red, horrible, uh, cystic, uh, acnes, and, like, this, uh, this bowling, this stuff, just, it's amazing. Um, and it doesn't make it worse, and it doesn't make me break out worse, because I have a lot of trouble with a lot of makeup, and that's why I pretty much just wear the tinted moisturizer, because, um, a most, a lot of things break me out. So, anyways, I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to show you how I use it. Like, I would just take a little bit on my concealer brush. This is an e.l.f. concealer brush, like a dollar or something, so, um, at Target. Um, anyways, I would take this and I would just apply it like bing, 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 bing. And then the spots, the spots for concealer under the eyes, you want to go right under there. You don't want to go too close in there unless you want to really accentuate the bad spots. So you're just going to go like there. Also, um, wherever, wherever else I have, I'm just going to go like doong, 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 and then smooth it out. Um, and it blends right in. It's amazing. Now, mine is in the color, um, mine is in number two, medium. So if you're like, oh, my skin color is close to hers, uh, I recommend that. Um, okay. So then after I use that, then I would put my finishing veil on. Okay. So next, um, next thing I'm going to show you is, um, eyeliner. The eyeliner that, uh, I've been using, um, a lot lately is uh, this I wear um, most days and uh, this I wear at practice, I wear it during bouts. Now um, when I wear eye makeup during bouts it's usually like the, my whole eye going like all the way out because you know it's really dramatic. You, you really want to do everything like 50 times what you would normally what you would normally do so people can actually see it cuz they're super far away. So anyways, this is uh uh this is I would not only use I would use a little bit of this, but um it's really um anyways, I'll just go ahead and show you. This is the Elf waterproof eyeliner pen and um what I love about this and I know you guys probably used these before, but this was my first pen eyeliner and I just went crazy because it's you know it's a pen um, a felt tip pen so it's like a sharpie bing, uh, for your eyelids and I just love that because it makes the best um, makes the best uh, bad girl bad girl winged liner um, and that's what you want that's what you want out there on the track. You want to have a bad girl. You want to have bad girl eyes. So, okay. Um, I'm going to try to show you really fast without actually doing it how to do bad girl winged liner. And uh, for me, now I know a lot of people like to start like in the middle and go out, but you know, like I just seriously just take it along the line and draw. And then when you get to the outer line, you slightly, you're going to slightly pull up, and then uh, you're going to connect it right here, and you're going to stop, and you're going to go back that way until, until, uh, until you have like a, con a connected line, and it's just a little bit thicker. Um, you can just do it simply with a little flick of a wing. Um, that's what I... That's what I do if I'm if I'm working, like if I know I want to look tame. But if you want a really, really uh, bad girl, um, mean girl eyes, you want to do a full on. You want to do a full on hardcore wing. So, anyways, um, <laughs> the next thing, um, the next thing I'm going to show you after that are uh, the uh, mascaras that I've been using. Um, the first mascara. The first mascara is the mascara I use just um, most days. Most days I use this. Um, I may have wore it in the last bout. Um, it's the um, Maybelline Falsies um, Volume Mascara. Um, and uh, I don't know. I don't even know if the packaging said, like, if this is waterproof or smudge proof or not. But I haven't had any problems with it. Like, it hasn't run or messed up and um it's it's pretty good like 